Welcome to this tutorial for creating a Hello World project using Symfony 2 frameworks and NetBeans. What we'll require for this project is a NetBeans 7.3 installed, an XAMPP installed, and uh, also the Symfony zip file which we have downloaded from the Symfony website. I have placed it in the htdocs folder of XAMPP. That's it. Symfony 2.7 with vendors. So let's proceed with NetBeans. Go to File, New Project, uh, PHP. This XAMPP path is automatically set by the NetBeans, so we don't have to do anything in that. Just note the project name that is PHP Project 4. Be using localhost, and this is the most important feature of NetBeans IDE. We have Symfony 2 inbuilt functionality in that so we have to just select it and just set a few options for it that is the zip file in the symphony 2 tab we have set it to the correct path and also the php interpreter in the xmpp folder and we can go ahead with creating the project That's it, we have our new project which comes with the demo bundle. We won't be requiring that as we will be creating our own bundle. So we can close that and go ahead with running a new command which is in Symfony. The generate bundle command which is used to create a new bundle. We'll be creating a bundle called uh, hello bundle. A vendor name for that is mandatory, so we'll giving it we'll be giving it it as test, and the name should end with bundle. That's also very important. We'll be using the YML configuration. You can use any XML, PHP. Now we have our bundle created. That is test hello bundle which has all the resources required for a hello world project by default that is the root the controller for it and which which renders a view called the index html twig which will be present in views default index twig hello name this is a pattern for the hello world that is hello slash name name which is a variable so we can have anything now we can go ahead and try running the project we should give the correct path that is php project 4 which is our project name and hello slash world which is the routing which we have given so this should uh, give us an output hello world which is a variable that's it we have successfully printed hello world we'll try now with hello universe yes that's working too Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, have a nice day.